What's going on, folks? What up, what up? ITC Podcast, episode 69, 69. Man. Oh, oh, freak leak. Somebody <laughs> said that. <laughs> I'm talking somebody. I can't wait till the next pod. Wow, I see? Bet. I'll you be know, playing it. Y'all just be kids. freak fest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> kids. Really yeah. neat up in here. But no, nah, man, uh, we back in this thing, man. Uh, mm-hmm. Shout out to y'all for supporting us, man. Make sure y'all listening to the podcast wherever you can. Definitely, yeah. Watching it. Keep it tuned in. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to get better every week, man. And it's only going to get better. It's so, only going to get better. Um, we got a lot going on as usual. Yep. Mm-hmm. Per um, usual. New week, new same. shim sham. But we're stuff. just here to just give our thoughts and our expressions. We never dive too deep into situations. Right. Because at the end of the day, if it doesn't affect us, man, we just sit here having fun and giving our opinion. You sure about that? Exactly. <laughs> and we don't know. Yeah. Yep. I mean, we, last week, excuse yeah, me, last week yeah. I was a little yeah. perturbed. Oh, the bro, he went. I appreciate uh, that person. Super Saiyan dub, boy. I, mean, I appreciate that person. It happens, though, bro. You, I was trying to be sane, but I had actually just saw that clip. Right, mm-hmm. that was the first my first time, time when he showed too. me. Y'all couldn't see it, but it like in my angle, me. there was like a thick red vein, like on the side. <laughs> yeah. like, a green I, I, one. I feared myself, my safety. But <laughs> no, no, I'm playing. <laughs> but uh, all right, so new new week, new mm. will situation, bro. Yeah, new will. Yeah, I, I want to say it's Damn, like every bro. week since the yep. infamous slap seen and heard around mm. the world. New developments. Uh, <laughs> new developments. Things have been. <laughs> Internet has been doing a research. Yeah. I will say this, uh, but apparently uh, Will Smith enters a luxury rehab facility mm. following the publicized uh, slap of the luxury. comedian yeah. Chris Rock as he looks to deal with his stress. It's it sucks that, as he you should. Know, man. He's been that, going through it, man. He's definitely he's, going through he's it. He's dealing with this, and I'm I'm glad that he is trying to get like, the proper help that he can get. We've said. We can all agree Real was in the wrong, but that doesn't mean we want to completely just bash Will. Yeah, of like course. you know, hey, it, mistakes happen. We're human. Yeah, exactly. You know how they do celebrities, man. They straight shun them. They exactly. That's the worst sin you could ever committed. You're going to hell. And yeah, blah, 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 blah. Like just for one thing, and that's just it's constant. Like they always do that with the celebrity. It, it mm, irritates yeah. my soul, and people just like. Will should be punished for life. Like, look, like I don't agree with Tim. Ten years, <laughs> yeah, banned from I don't the think Oscar. we had talked but, about it. It happened right after we. What, what's funny recording. about that is like, damn. Yeah. Will, will I know? It, I know it, it will feel some type of way about that. But I just want an Oscar. Do I need to go back? Like, I think he uh, I mean, removed himself. Yeah, he uh, removed anyway. himself from it. Yeah. Uh, like, but I, they, I came when I was supposed to. I, they, uh, See they, they banned like, him for ten years, which I think is just a, a, a public move. Yeah. I'm sure damage it'll, control it'll probably. probably you know they'll probably revisit that, but mm. it's it's the initial initial punishment is is a little excessive. Right? Yeah. Ten years, yeah. extremely. It's excessive. it's not that serious. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like it's serious in the sense of what was done, but it's right. not to the point of like oh well we gotta ban this person for ten years mm-hmm. for something you know like that. You know, granted, I'm I'm sure. People were, I'm pretty sure, were pressuring them. Like, hey, y'all got to do something about this. You know, a lot yeah. of people, a lot of actors 100%. Uh, came out and, you know, displeasure the whole situation. So I get it. And they wanted to make an example. But at the same time, I think it's just 10 years excessive. I can understand maybe five right. or something like that. But 10, a whole decade. Granted, I don't think anybody really <laughs> going to be like tripping. Like, oh, no, Will Smith is not at the, mm-hmm. the Oscars this year. Right. What will we ever do? <clears throat> you know, I don't think it's yeah. a situation like that. But mm-hmm. at the same time, it's, it's just really unfortunate to see Will yeah, of course. in the state he's in. Dealing with all the stuff yeah. he's dealing with now. Have to go to rehab to kind of reset himself. And mm-hmm. let's not get on. Yeah, It's frustrating because like his mm. Instagram is one of the live is exactly. the his, his, his positive energy that he brings on there is so yeah for exactly. sure so the fact that all his negative stuff is like slamming on him at once is just irritating yeah. to me Can and then we, he's my favorite actor so I, man, same. i'm biased by default same so and I, try not was, to I was always like from the jump i'm like damn that's stupid of you but it's just still it's will smith i, I try not to comment like, too much on it because on top of that chris rock is trash as hell to me at at uh stand up personally that's really? just my opinion Ouch. really damn. i'm not a fan of chris you Rock's were not the first person that i've heard that though but like, but you know it, it was wrong i guess chris rock got a lot of classics man uh standards like well that one uh i think like an early 99 one man reacted to yeah that was the one like hell, but he you yeah, black people, people and then there's niggas 
Right. So, yeah. but he's I mean, always. I've always looked at him as like. I think my issue with Chris Rock is I've always looked at him as the 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 monkey shining. You know what I'm saying? Like the mm-hmm. black face. The, I'm, 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 I'm performing for the white people. Uh, Mm-hmm. Com- comedian is so it the smile like, he always does I've at always the end got of a every bad vibe from it, right it's not even yeah. like, and i personally i could be completely wrong and it's not it's nothing personal towards right. him it's just i don't i've never it's really, not your cup of tea i've always got that vibe from him so it's mm-hmm. like i've never really liked his stand-up because of that yeah and um yeah i mean it there's nothing wrong yeah. with that i mean everybody got their own opinion and that's the thing you should be able to have your own opinion how you feel about some or mm-hmm. someone and be able to move on from there. You shouldn't right. have to fight nobody. You shouldn't be no yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't no think it was major slap. It's, it's it shouldn't be major disagreements going on when people, you know, have differences of a, differences any, of opinion. Yeah, if anything, I, I was hoping. I don't know. Maybe it's the camera. I don't know. They could make something fun out of this, like funny out of this. That's I know. That's what Chris I Rock's see comedian. Will, Will was still a comedian too, slash amazing actor. <laughs> It would have been dope if they could have made something funny out of this situation. I would think that would be cool. That'd hopefully be cool. they yeah. still will. Maybe, hopefully. It's, yeah. it's, not, it's mm-hmm. not like hung up. Yeah, yeah um, but apparently now Chris Rock's other other brother, I thought he only had one because Chris Rock show. I mean, everybody hates Chris. Tony. Yeah, yeah Tony, but now another brother saying, no, he wants to fight Will. And like, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Like, that part, yeah, that's I, not going to happen. And I thought it was yeah. a rumor or something. But yeah. I keep seeing it. I was like, this is funny. To me. Well, you got Jaden. Jaden out there. Jaden. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He free. <laughs> he was right. a karate kid, so be he careful. Was. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> he was a karate well, he kid. Got <laughs> he got Jaden. He got Jaden. But, you know, but, uh, you know uh, are we really about to pot or are we going to like lightly pot? Well, before you go in there, let me attack it lightly. All right, attack it lightly. Publicly. Okay, let's do this. I don't personally feel like Jada right. is I'm gonna sit my water here. having his back publicly. Oh. I don't know what's going on behind closed doors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. But clue. we was talking about this earlier because what I said was this is a public event that's going on. Yeah. Now, because my spouse is publicly being, you know, brought down and, you know, attacked, uh-huh. I'm gonna represent and put a statement out uh-huh. um publicly in a way to not only say that, yeah even though my spouse didn't agree with what they've done and I don't agree because we don't condone violence. Yeah. At the same time, I understand that my spouse was trying to protect me. And yeah. like, I would put it out in a way like, Where, it's it's a pre, it's like I stand by my spouse because at the end of the day, all they were doing in their mind was thinking that they were protecting me and they just ended up blowing up. Yeah. Like they did something, they made a mistake, they feel horror about it. We don't condone violence, but at the same time, I'm protecting my spouse because at the end of the day, it was all the root of it was them protecting me. Can I hop in now? All right. Ugh. That was Wait, the angel. You, that was the angel. This week, uh, Spaz <laughs> Out is uh, brought to you by Ross. <laughs> oh, I said, right. Ross is about to go crazy. Right. Before we about even to get go there. Rogue. All right, all right. Yep. He's all in the circle. So I just felt mm-hmm. like she left that man on an island. I don't appreciate that. Very, well, go ahead, Ross. I, I, I agree. <laughs> Anything that, else, brother? You, I agree. No, go ahead, go do your thing, man. Cause I'm sure right. I'm he about probably, to agree with you. That's why I'll be after you. Like, oh, okay, nah. okay, okay, okay. All right, <laughs> All right man. Hit the stretch. Hit the stretch. So, you heard what Dub said. Mm-hmm. You heard what Dan said. So, dance a lot, man. Uh, I'm be honest with you, man. At the end of the day, when you're when you, I guess, consider yourself married mm-hmm. or in a relationship, mm. publicly known, mm. and your spouse is going through something like that kind of to what Steve was saying, you don't leave them out in the island by themselves. Mm -hmm. And this is not the first time. The fact that she is commenting, it's been quoted that she's commenting this, oh, I I don't agree with what he did. He shouldn't have done that. And it's like, huh. Period. Huh, okay. All right. cool. So not only does he look foolish for defending your honor, now everyone's making jokes about it. His career is being threatened by it. And granted, it's not your fault technically that it happened, but you didn't alleviate the situation. You left the man high and dry. And then the internet, doing what the internet does best, Mm -hmm. fine research, pulls up different articles and clips of you saying originally, oh, yeah, I didn't even originally want to get married to him. You know, the only reason why I got married to him is because my grandmother <sighs> said something about it. So now, not only are you saying this, or it's coming out, or it has been said publicly, now everything's just coming back to it. Like, damn, Will, you did all that for someone that didn't yeah. even originally want to get married to you? Mm-hmm. Then there's other stuff coming out of you saying, oh, he doesn't please me in the bed sometimes sexually. And I'm like, bro, why is this... 
Why are public you information. public information? Public information. Constantly disrespecting this man. Constantly. Like, that shit is not cool. And it's not the, okay. I don't give a damn what you had going on with Tupac, bro. At the end of the goddamn day, you are married to this person, and it should be some type of understanding of like, damn, bro, like let's keep this in house. Because now Will's out here looking <clears throat> super sad. You out here just looking like nothing ever happened. Like Oh, I don't know why he did that, but hey, I'm going <laughs> to congratulate this person on this award. <clears throat> How about you say something defending your husband from all the ridicule and backlash he's getting for this defending your bald-headed ass? And I know, oh, I know, went rogue. I know, I get it. Oh, that's Bro, messed up. Smacked. How could you say that? But no, Y'all at the end of the day, bro, it's like pen? we we get into this black men don't protect Black women, Ooh. but it's like, whoa, mm. wait a minute, what's up spitting? with what's oh, up he with? I'm, 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 I'm about to, I, 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 I have officially forfeit my turn because uh, this it's man, fine, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly, what's yeah. Up? Preach, preach up. <laughs> what's, fine, <laughs> what's up with black women not protecting black men when God we need it, it Ross, in, in situations like this? Because at the end of the day, when it comes to us men sometimes we Damn. get hot headed sometimes yeah. our ego gets in front of us that's why you have a good woman to help you to check you on that hey baby mm-hmm. don't don't do this this is not the time or the place where was she there no she was sitting up there laughing she was sitting up there laughing like it was all fun and Damn, jokes bro. and then when they go to the after party oh, she's dancing and moving and grooving not one time on some hey that wasn't a good move no, so so Will gets all the backlash. He doesn't get the support that he's supposed to be getting from his public wife. Whatever, whatever yeah. situation y'all got going on behind doors, don't matter. They know y'all as a couple, as a married couple, and he's not getting the support. So it's like, what the hell, bro? That's that's messed up. Yeah, it, it, it sucks to see someone that a lot of us like, a lot of us wanted to be like. He was always trying to preach positivity. Yeah. To see him this down bad, and everyone's making jokes about it, and then the one person that you're supposed to be married to ain't even up there sticking up for you. That's cold. Let's not even get on to the other stuff of him trying to plan a damn birthday party for you for two years, and then you make it seem as if it's him being on an ego play and you didn't like it because he was trying to plan a goddamn birthday party for you two years in advance. He wanted mm, to be special. Right. It's like, God damn, bro. When niggas do good, you end up in situations like this where people don't take it. They don't appreciate it. They take advantage of it. Yeah. And then you be sitting there looking, wondering like, oh, well, why black men don't do this? Why black men don't? When they do it, this is the bullshit they sometimes receive. Hey, so at the fight. end of the day, we need to hey. hold each other accountable. <clears throat> None of this black men don't protect black women. Black women don't protect black men. We need to hold each other accountable and protect each other. Because at the end of the day, we're going to end up with more situations like this where it makes it seem like us as black people, we can't get along with each other and exactly. have a, a good, solid yeah, family right. foundation without some bullshit. Mm-hmm. That's all I wanted to say. Damn. That's some bullshit. Hey. I'm praying for you, Will. I hope things get Facts. better for you, man, because at the end of the day, mental health is very serious, and I can only imagine the stuff you're dealing with at home, the stuff you're dealing with in your career, yeah. the stuff you're dealing with with people that don't even fucking know you, mm-hmm. making all types of jokes and all this other stuff. I know it's messed up. I just really wish and I hope he has a support system other than his goddamn wife to help him in this situation. Because this is sometimes you need friends, real fucking friends. When you right. when you don't have no one else to lean on, you need them to help you. So that's yes, all sir. I got to say, bro. God damn, boy. You go. I, I, it's, it's really no reason to say much else. Because he was hitting else everything tonight. on the spot. That concludes episode like, 69. Hey. Uh, no. <laughs> he was like, Jim, 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 hey. Jim, 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 Ross been holding Jim, that in. Nah, it's, bro, I, and it's, we see it even outside of celebrities. We see yep. good men, good yep. black men doing all they can for some women and they just don't they don't appreciate it they don't stick up for them and then when they end up leaving them and they get with somebody else that's gonna do them dirty then they be like oh all niggas ain't shit no you ain't shit (laughs) what do you mean (laughs) like no i'm tired of that bro i think i think the frustrating thing too is like she she's been doing it so much it's almost like she's okay it's okay bro this red people to do this dumb shit when this red table talk start like when, when did this this start? I want to say it started right up the the uh, August thing. It had to be thing. like a, no, around it started there. before then, I think. Was it? Yeah. Oh, okay. She had been doing right until I think it was probably COVID. I think around yeah. Okay, okay. Right that's and that's the like, bro. I that's the furthest like, I can remember was COVID. Probably was, and it's like, bro. Ever since then, and it's like, bro. I swear, I'm not. not ain't nobody ain't trying to bully 
Jada or anything like that. But bro, let's just keep it a hundred, bro. Jada has been saying some of the most out of line shit. shit. For yeah, exactly. And here's what's the killing part about this. A lot of y'all women agree to that. Look, I understand, bro, if y'all want to agree to like, oh, she's a woman, you know, oh, she's making sense. But bro, when you literally following her and she's saying the most delusional shit, I'm like, okay, you got a problem. First of all, you're not rich, you're not famous, you're not Hollywood. You're dealing with like real life issues too. And you know, you want to, you know, you want to treat your man like that. I'm like, bro, it makes no fucking sense. Like, I don't get the whole fact that her obsession, I think he said that Willow wrote a letter to Tupac yeah, or something. Yeah, Willow wrote a letter to so, a nigga that like, she never what? met that like, was dead. I'm sorry, but like, bro, how Which means, How big was Tupac to y'all family? Like, you know how disrespectful that exactly, is to I'm like, It's just like, imagine being the dad. Like, I can't imagine my son writing a letter to a dead dude that my wife liked. That he never met. Yeah, and I'm like, I don't get which you know means what was she crazy? must be saying something. What was crazy about this was the fact when he went on a breakfast club with Martin when they was pr- promoting mm-hmm. Bad Boys right. 3 and Charlemagne brought that up and he had actually admitted like yeah like I, I envy like you know like I had oh, that thing no. about the relationship so you know it's there you know it's not fake you know it's not just media what? it was really something there with him Tupac and the guy from Philly right. the good guy mm-hmm. you know and the gangster dude and you know, it's just so much there. Will and deserves better. I mean, like honestly, all, honestly, bro, this all I'm seeing is like, damn, why is there is there more to like this marriage? I understand that you know they got businesses and this and that. Yeah. Like it's a power couple like thing. But is. I'm I like, feel like yeah. some business type. It's stuff, like, damn, bro. at what point do you say, all right, f that? All I need to have, like, all I, I, I need my dignity, my respect as a man. I, I like, just, I can't I, do this no more. Like, I don't get that. I just wish, like. She responded in a way like the dude from Bel Air. Right. I don't know if y'all seen his interview after he just kept dodging the questions about the the slap mm-hmm. after well, it, after it happened. Man, I said right. I want to watch that it. interview. Is great. Like he's literally. She's like, so what did you think about Will? Uh, uh, what Will did on the stage? She's like, oh yeah, that award he accepted was pretty good. I was happy that he got the. I, I, and then uh, she started. She started talking more. She was like, so um. Uh, the altercation that happened he's like oh yeah that's 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 tragic but uh, that, that award he got and he just kept going back to it and then uh, then she went it. she was like well, no, so what Angela do you e. think about Will going up and slapping Chris Rock and he, he goes oh uh, uh, that's that's pretty sad uh, but what I, what I do want to talk about like he just kept yeah. changing it there you go. changing that's the energy I was like why couldn't she just respond like that yeah. so, so that nobody could target her as this you know evil villain like that she's Almost portraying the beat to a lot, of those, thing, men, a lot thing, of those men and women. It's women that, is, that don't like what she's doing. She yeah. got so much history, though. Yeah. Right. So she has to actually say something, though, because she has to say something protecting Will. That's the only way it'll work because mm-hmm. she got so much history of saying shit that made him look bad. And that she hasn't. not saying something she, in this situation looks the, bad. The way he answered, it would have been perfect for her to still answer like that. Like if you, yeah. you just have to watch the video. I'm gonna go check it out because he, he was just like, yeah, uh, but on on that's that's tragic. But on the positive, blah blah blah. blah he just kept going back to the but to come the out and say, stuff. oh, he shouldn't have done that. Yeah, or, I don't I don't need protecting, which yeah. was the first thing we heard. Yeah, right. like, um, instead of that, I'm like, yo, man, like, that's what sure, that's what I'm, like you 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 rolled your eyes and stuff and gave him some type of bullshit signal to trigger him. Like as a so, husband, bro, <laughs> you you want to protect your wife. Exactly. Like, yeah, I'm yeah, of a, I'm a husband. Steve's a husband. I mean, every even just dating somebody like yeah. you, you, your natural protective instincts kick in. Exactly. Like you want to like I do old fashioned stuff. You can joke on me if you want to. When when I'm yeah, walking yeah. on the street, I, I make my wife side, walk street, on the inside, side yeah. where the car is not passing. Because right, yep. in my mind, if a car just do some dumb shit, I'll take the hit before her. Like yeah. But that's you know how what's I sad think. in this day and age, bro? There's a huge percentage of women that will find that offensive. Yeah, but just want to be a man and just protecting the women the, like that's that. That's the problem. That's we're crazy. Yeah, getting, and that's a lot of them. Jada, we're getting like so that. outside of like tradition. We're just, tra- right. Like, and it's not nothing wrong with change, but at the same time, we're we're changing. We're getting too smart for our own good. Too. Yeah. yeah, that's that's something my parents we're changing. Just tell when me. Change doesn't need to happen. Yeah, like we're that's, getting. That's what it is. It's it's a way to build on a foundation. Mm, like it's nothing sure. wrong with building on tradition, but yeah. mm-hmm. what we're doing is now we're trying to shift everything and then we're questioning everything and we're questioning too much to the point to where we're out questioning like we don't even know where what's up, mm-hmm. what's down. It got to a point one time when um when they were talking about the vaccines. Um and they was talking about COVID and everything like that and and it was crazy because some people was for it, some people was against it. <clears throat> Doctors was for doctors was against it, and people were like, well, damn, if the medical field is in in shambles and confused, yeah. who am I to be on one side? Mm-hmm. And then they were saying that, bro, if you Google, if you realize 
whatever you Google, there's information to plead your case. True. That's when I realized, wow, like yeah. what kind of, where have we made it in this world where you can Google is drinking a lot of water bad? And you can find reasons why drinking too much water can be bad yeah. for you. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's just it's something for everything. There's really and no right or wrong to answer, a person man. without yeah. a strong mentality. They're there. There's they're like a, a bunch of paint splattered on the that's wall. They don't know which way no to go. Foundation. It's yeah. easy to crack a person with no foundation. With no, and that's what we're it's, raising. It's we're easy. raising kids yeah. with no foundation. We're telling them feelings. Just feel. Just feel. And then yep. when they hit 18 and you start smacking them with reality 24-7, they're not going to know how to deal with like, why well, I'm getting rejected for this. I wanted this car, but you said I can't get it. But my credit is what? What is that? What is why? And then now they're not going to know how to mentally deal with it. Depression, suicidal rates, mm. yep. all this kind of stuff. Uh, homicide. So it's like, you think thing. It's it's like, very very serious and it, like you, we gotta slow down and just kind of like start. It's because attention. we're changing things that don't need to be changed. Exactly. You know? It's like it's like what the what's the saying? You, you know, don't don't fix it if it ain't broke. Exactly. So mm-hmm. it's like it's certain things we tend to do. Like like he said, the walking in the on the inside towards the street. I I still open doors for my wife. I still mm-hmm. do Facts. a lot of yeah. traditional stuff. I'll pull the chair out for all that stuff, but. Like some people, like like he said, will find that offensive because of you know the progressive. I can't open day my own age. door. So if your ass getting right. robbed, oh, would you? What? Oh, rob her, bro. She got it. She's strong. She got it. I told somebody that we was having an argument with someone, and me and my wife. Um, I don't know if it was probably a function, and they was talking about that. And I said, um, if somebody start banging on my door at two in the morning, she not gonna. Who do you think is going to be the first one to get up and go to the door? Exactly. And the way they look, is when somebody mm-hmm. pauses before they answer, you yeah, know you got like, them. Bro, because bro. I'm like, naturally, who do you think is going to be the hey, first baby, one down there? On it don't matter what it is. Man, you got it. You got it, man. What the situation may <laughs> the be. The, I just the, visualize some What you may yeah. face. You, you know who's going to be the exactly, first one yep. down there. Like, that's just what it is. Now, you mm-hmm. may come behind me. Or you may come watch yeah. over to just stay make sure. Up here. Mm-hmm. But exactly. that naturally, the man is the one that's going to be leading the force and uh, facing yeah. whatever no, comes. Because that's normally what we're supposed to do. And that's do just that. how a good man is raised yeah. up the right way. That's how he's going to be. I am weapon proficient. I went to the gun range. And, one that, time. and that mentality mm-hmm. is what's going to get people. Because you don't understand, bro, survival is always a part of life. Exactly. Like survival, survival instincts, mm-hmm. being able to like having common sense and not just book sense. Yes. Like, cause my dad and them used to tell me all the time, like, man, don't have book sense and no common sense. Right. And you start to wonder like, damn, what does that mean? And man. then you start just realizing normal little things. And it's like, damn, with no common sense, bro, that'll get you effed up in reality and in life. Man. Cause you're so green to everything. Mm-hmm. And you just don't understand like, bro, survival is a very big thing in this life and i don't think we're we're raising kids and children they're watching us they're watching this stuff bro they're watching the whole will and jada thing yep. you know they got phones now so it's not only that we didn't have technology when we grew up because we kind of were the age of it yeah. but they got it so fast and it's right there they mm-hmm. can see everything they can see somebody from another country you know and it's like it's live 24 7 you're seeing what's going on around the world the news is in your pocket all day mm-hmm. all day media news you know regular news all that kind of stuff so when you sitting there realizing like bro these kids have all this access to this information and we're showing them we're displaying things how we're doing and being immature what do we think they're gonna do because they're not just gonna do what we say these kids growing up are gonna do things from what we do mm-hmm. and then in the next True. 10 15 years we don't realize like they always used to tell us kids is the future the children are the future. Those are your next mm-hmm. doctors, your next lawyers, your next everything, your presidents, all that. These kids are the future. And if we're raising them and they're seeing what we're doing, I can just imagine for the ones that don't have that stable right. home training. I mean, even the ones that do have good home training, you still going to learn and tap into things you wasn't supposed to. I mean, mm-hmm. I had the best two parent like way of foundations. It wasn't perfect, but I had two parents in one house trying to teach me how to do right things. And I still went out and learned things from friends and stuff Mm -hmm. and did things. I didn't pass a limit because I knew better. Mm -hmm. But what if I would have got caught that day? Or what if, you know what I'm saying? Like the odds were just in my favor. God Mm -hmm. was just, hey, make sure this road is clean for him. He don't know better. He just, 
experiencing. But mm-hmm. what happens now when kids aren't learning how to do things the right way at home and parents are just, you know, what 19 if? themselves, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And then I was just looking earlier today. I dropped the kids off to school, and there's nothing against people with piercings, but I seen a little boy with his ear pierced. And I was like, damn, this boy's in elementary. Man. Yeah. And I was just like, damn, that ain't even no thing. I just got my ears pierced two years ago. Bro, yeah. (laughs) Bro, I was a grown, I was 18. And my dad looked at me like, (laughs) I could have brought He just shook his head. (laughs) He didn't say nothing. He just shook his head. But it's like to see a kid in elementary with his ears pierced. And I'm just like, damn, I said, that's kind of grown for a kid, for a young boy to have his ears pierced. And I know most elementaries would make you not, you know, take them out or something. But it's like nowadays, it's just well, it's a free no world. Bro. Seeing uh, middle schoolers with tattoos is oh very yeah, traumatizing. Like, bro, that's, that's like crazy. a normal thing. I'm like, bro, you were like 13, bro. Why the hell you got this on? Like, you gotta have them by high school because in high yeah, school yeah. everybody got tats, exactly. or they're getting yeah. tattoos, or their mm-hmm. their mama taking them to go get a tattoo, and you just mm-hmm. thinking like, well, damn, am I the only one that's being like, raised? Bro, it's, it's crazy, we bring up like piercings and tattoos. I, I feel like this way. I'm still tattooless. <laughs> yeah, I'm still tattooless Same. as well. Like, I'm, I'm 31. Like, is it, is it you know? I, mean, like, I thought about it, but I was like, yeah. Like, I said but man, I feel like us 90s babies, we were like the pioneers of like everybody just getting tatted up. I don't Time feel like out. after high school. Time out. That That's rare as hell. I just I just want to say this is rare as hell. I'm usually the only person not tatted in a room. Right. So like the fact that we're outnumbering the tatted person. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it never bro, happens. After high school, bro, it's like that's everybody true. I knew. That's true. Bro, it's I got in the room. Tatted, I'm like, my wife, her friends, my friends, everybody in there is right. tatted but me. So, <laughs> and I'm like, bro, what? And I'm usually that person. Yeah. That's funny. And it's crazy, man, because I'm like, bro, I did who not made know y'all want to get tattoos all of a sudden, bro? I'm like, damn. So, <laughs> not saying nothing wrong with tattoos. So, yeah, but no, of course. There's people that you just thought I'm I like. I always wanted tattoos. Bro, you just like, from right here all the way down, you just like tatted like right after high school. I'm like. Oh, yeah. I would have been, like, like, been live. I would have been live with some tattoos too, man. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. I thought about it. You know, of course, you know. I always, I wanted to jump in. And I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I wanted know. the rock, the little tribal one titty. I wanted something like on. that too. Like it's just something about the tribal like, tattoos. Are you Samoan? And it works best with light skin. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a rock I'm, fan. I'm black on <laughs> I'm black on <laughs> It works best with light skin dudes. For Boy, sure. that's another <laughs> thing too. Yeah, I'm like there's certain air like you can't see my my art. So why why do I? He said, "What do I even need to do?" Like I'm, I'm just being honest, certain. You can definitely do it. Um. I got a friend darker than you. That. But and there, there you go. I'm glad. Yeah, that make it that's why I was going. I'm like, nah, bro. You, we got black friends who's that. Oh yeah, uh-huh. but there's a certain complexion. I'm like, all right, bro. I mean, all I see is like green. Like I don't know what <laughs> he said. All I see is green. I don't know what what, what supposed to make What's, out. What is that no. tattoo again? Kendrick tatted. <laughs> Yeah, he, he is. Yep. Yeah, I forgot he was tatted, bro. Yeah, see, he see, up too. Wait, shout out to Kendrick, man. But I forgot you were tatted. Yeah, see. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, t- I mean, I can <laughs> see. But uh, for real, so I'm Say like, yeah, it's just, I it's, don't know. It's, it's but, one um, of the things. Uh, now I see more coming to Norm. I'm like. You see what? Face tattoos, man. I'm seeing more and more people. I'm like, bro, y'all I don't need to get face Y'all still need to get jobs, Yeah, too. that's like, my only thing. Is like, bro, how about. Some of them ain't trying to get jobs. They're trying to be entrepreneurs. Yeah, yeah. and I'm like. Yeah, it's dope, but I'm age. like. This to become it's, a YouTuber, become a uh, Instagram famous guy, Instagram model, only true. fans person. Um, well, yeah, what yeah. else you got? Uh, Patreon guy. Um, yeah. Something. That's internet I, famous, yeah, something in that line. It's true, but yeah, the crazy thing not is, everybody's going. Everybody I mean, can't stock do it. marketer, yeah. uh, goddamn oh, yeah. uh, forex, forex, forex. forex guy. Unless yeah. you can find some online job, which is, I mean, feel like that's where all the jobs are going. But yeah, I'm a lot of road, them, man. Like, but you, you still got to do the interview. It, it's such a new age at this point. <laughs> like, like people, are, like they don't care no more because now they're just like, we're gonna find yeah. this other way to make money. Yeah, man. So. And there's nothing wrong with having that type of mindset. Like, yo, we're gonna figure out to make some money. I exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Like, if you can. Yeah, that's what's the up. right the right way. If the that's right your way, motivation yeah. to do it, because I I remember uh what was it Lil Skies? I don't know if y'all Lil Skies. Yeah, I know. Listen to Lil Artists, Skies. We used to. He, check he, he had a he had a song where he was saying he was like, once I got my face tatted, I was like, I I knew I had to I had to make it. That's, <laughs> yeah, I guess that's one way. Of, that was his my, motivation. Yeah. Way to motivate yourself. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Got to get it now, bro. I like, can't get a job now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I don't, they're gonna be like. All right, the best we can do is some, uh, you can work the fries. Fast food. Go yep. get some, fast food. Go be a cook. Oh, you got a broken heart? Back. Okay, I've never seen that before. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Real creative. Like, but <laughs> And just, this it's a generation, not to cut yeah. you off, bro, mm-hmm. but th- this is a generation that, I mean, we it was, influence is a big thing, bro, and it always yeah. has been. I, I'm, I feel more for this generation because 
influence is at an, it's like times 10 because you got more access to it. Like, mm-hmm. if you weren't watching certain things or seeing certain things, you didn't know about the new boys or jerking mm-hmm. or, you yep. know, all that. Like, do, it was going do, around the radio, of course, and we yeah. had our little ways of seeing it. But And, and dance challenges wasn't the same. Like, it wasn't. It, it was a lot more creativity in my eyes. Like, you didn't see the same. Like, TikTokers now, it's so... To me, it's like a toxic environment to me personally. I don't care for it because it's like it's constantly the same exact dance being seen now. Nobody's unique no more. Like flavor on when YouTube first came out, you had Soldier Boy drop his. Everybody made their own little copies of their uh, bro. I I, they I, I literally dance, thought Soldier Boy made all those damn songs. I'm like, <laughs> oh, he made the SpongeBob, the crank that uh Yamaha. <laughs> but that was like, the cool no, thing about it. Yeah. Didn't like it at first, but then when you start but to like that it. was the cool thing about just really getting started in YouTube and like yep. experiencing that because. It was so much mystery. Like we were just mm-hmm. learning stuff. Like I don't just think to nothing was more goaded than YouTube's earlier. Bro, that days. was back when I had Man. to. I used to write cheat codes off of uh, what's it? The cheat code books in GameStop. Instead oh yeah, of having mm-hmm. to look online. Yeah, exactly. You couldn't really <laughs> find them on, like online yep. at first. There was a site we used to go to. I forgot. There the was name a site of, for sure that eventually was showed. Uh, up. There was Game Facts. And um, Game Facts one. before it became what it is now. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was a lot, man. It's just, yep. but again, man, it's. <laughs> It's not as is. It's the access, bro. They got access to Easy access all this influence, anything, bro. So yeah. fast, so it's crazy, and that can be a uh, a bad thing considering who you are and what you've done in the past. Because mm-hmm. the internet never forgets. I don't know if you guys know nope. about Kim Dar- Car- uh, Kardashian's Damn, what son. What you call her? <laughs> Kim Kardashian. <laughs> I, 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 I know. Who, who uh, Kim Kardashian's bro. son uh, oh, sees. Uh, the alleged sex tape on Roblox. I, I it think first. it was an ad about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. About it was, the, I, the, I, the, I, I think it was like, a, like it was an ad. How do you get an ad for that on Roblox? And uh, apparently, her um, nope. her son was you know was very traumatized by that situation. So you know she was trying to do damage control, oh but God, once bro. again. This is the internet, and the internet never forgets. And it's one of those things where you have to ask yourself in the future. Will my son or daughter see this? What what I've put out there? You know what I'm saying? This is the age of whatever Only you post, fans. even if you delete it, someone has it. Only it, it fans may be there. and all that, like bro, it's that's crazy. That's why I, what I'm doing, even like with us, bro, I just want to get better every time when we record. You know, mm-hmm. like because I want to leave stuff back that my children can see mm-hmm, and not mm-hmm. be ashamed of but yeah, be like man they was having fun you know i don't ever want to put out anything provocative or you know i don't i don't want to get into that bag for real <laughs> mm-hmm. i don't want to get in that bag bro because that's another piece of the the, the mental health thing that we don't think about like yep. imagine ranking on somebody and they're like hey and it's your mama doing some oh, sexual Not only do you have to square i up. would love to interview only you gotta fight the whole because i have so many point. questions yeah. you do <laughs> Like, not as going nah, around. it ain't fighting the school no more these days, though. It Everybody turned into something yeah. else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's I'm not. going to go get it. <laughs> like I remember, because these year. kids oh. out here now, man. I don't know if y'all seen um, on the news the that, that them kids acting crazy in Manville, the, the shooting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man, they was sh- that, that was that's like not even. Oh, you talking about that Airbnb? Yeah, that, 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 Airbnb. that was in Manville. That was in Manville. Wow. Yeah, no. was I just seen that party, last yeah. night. Oh, that's true. I had a conversation with somebody today. I was like, I blame NBA young boy. Oh, is see, like I just do. You, you I sound like an old head for real. You can always blame, of course, the parents, but come on now. I you know, NBA young boy. You know, I explained my theory. I, I was ain't like, even hold we you. listen to Boosie, Jeezy, Gucci. Yeah. I'm, I'm try, I tried to get as gangster as possible to the rappers that we had. Yeah. But I'm like, they also didn't only talk about murder. When you go and listen to an NBA young boy tape, find one song where he doesn't say anything about murder. Just one. Yeah, that's and they can't have anything to do with it. I'm not talking like even though he had a love song, he was like, "I kill you if you leave me" or some stuff well, like that. That's, that's, I was like, that's so, toxic. You so said, "Well, that's you listen murder." You to this every day. Murder, These kids murder. only thinking about shooting instead yep. of fighting. I'm gonna tell you one thing though. I ain't gonna lie. That's because the household week. Because yeah, household as much gangster shit I listened to growing up, or yeah, I definitely listen when to I snuck shit. and listened to what? it, ain't nothing defeated my dad belt or yep. my mom. Yep, you're right. It couldn't. It, it's it. nothing can defeat. Your household, <laughs> nothing bro. Get to me. Mm-hmm. Nothing, bro. That, that whole I'm gonna is say, un- sometimes not even your household, bro. It's just like <laughs> you're right, though. Knowing your dad, and I'll say, I, I've said this before. Or family, like, uncles, like, yeah. like just knowing, like, bro, I got a line of people that'll mm-hmm. mess me up. Yep. If I was to ever think about doing some exactly. dumb stuff like this, I like, agree. Yep. Bro, I had a line of people, bro. It was an uncle. I had hella uncles, bro. Just, I mean, 
that would tune me up. If like my dad takes a village. Me, so yeah, the so village. That's exactly what it was. That's just like my kids, bro. If y'all see my kids doing some shit they not supposed to, and I'm hey. not around, tune their ass up. <laughs> hey, man. Because I would do the same thing mm -hmm. for y'all children. Because oh, yeah. your dad taught you better than that, bro. Exactly. He wants you to be better than that. He want to raise you better than that. Now, don't you know? make me tell Dub. <gasps> yeah, but I mean, you see that. But <laughs> so I would yeah. never would think to go. No, nah, I might accidentally be there mm -hmm, and right. something may go down like yeah, we've been say, in that's just yeah. a lot of situations that's yeah. just a piece of the equation yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the stack you got you got a young boy then you got the internet which you know all the random shit you can see on there already exactly. I, I just feel like they have to fight a lot more and i feel like young boy's message is only killing to be honest like i only listen to him when i when i like work out that makes sense right. though because yeah. like i'm trying <laughs> to, to kill the weight. that makes yeah. sense but i'm not even listening to what he's saying i'm just <laughs> I hear beats and melody, and I and I get that oh, because definitely. I understand. Like I, I completely get. Like I had a conversation with my homeboy from uh, Louisiana, and he's like, I understand. Oh, like he's, wrong. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. And of course, he's gonna be biased. Oh, nigga, know, we just made this strong yesterday. He grew up on Boosie, so you know yeah. that that was you know yeah. that's that's violent Louis, rap. I Louisiana get that. don't got I, nothing cool to do but kill and have I, I, I listen to some violent shit myself. Twenty one oh, Savage, all that bro, shit. Bro, I was yeah. but. There's a, there's a point where I feel like you got to have some versatility. And that's my issue. Because I'm like, you can't just keep listening to that. And I, man, I was in my neighborhood the other day. This kid was riding by on one of them little hoverboards and he was jamming some young boy. I was like, bro, you're like eight years old. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. like, what? I'm like, boy. <laughs> what? Yeah. And that, bro, not even that. It's like, uh, you got NBA young boy. And just, bro, the past, I think, 10 years, bro. The drill moving, the shot wreck, the guns toting. And you got that, that, that really has a lot increased. to do with it. And that that increased with, with, with NBA Young Boy. I'm like, damn, bro. You got bro. that, and then you got Florida tripping. This yeah, I mean. Like, well, Florida going to be Florida. Yeah, yeah, like, right. it's one thing you're I right. saw. Right. I'm like, bro, <laughs> especially in H-Town, bro, we ain't, we've never been known to do certain things. And I've seen, like, countless videos over the past seven years. Bro, y'all just holding choppers, ARs, Glocks like nothing. Yep. I'm like, bro, this is some we, Chi we, Chirac we, shit. We, Houston I, was not known for that where shit. Where did I start the conversation? Influence exactly. is going to so, be I'm like, damn, biggest. H Town, y'all, we can't really talk no more about money. They taking we the lead. The y'all taking players and pimps. Yeah, we I'm the like the shooters and crips and shit. <laughs> exactly. Like, so I'm like, bro, this like is that. like a shot rack video. It wasn't that. Like, uh, like influence, bro. Definitely like, like, what it is. Influence. influence. Like, yeah, there's clicks around the city and mm -hmm. stuff. You always got violence. That's normal. But it's just like I don't know, man. It's it's different. It's yep. it's different. And you can see it. Yep. And I get it. Like I sound like an old head. I get it. But like I see what my parents are talking about now because it's like it's evolving every time. Like it, you can see it evolve because it's getting worse. Because yeah. now, yeah. like I remember, my parents it was like, uh, "Kids don't fight these days." I'm like, "Well, we still kind of fight these days, mom." Like, yeah. but then, like as I was getting out of high school, I started seeing shooting more, more oh, happening yeah, in more. my yeah. same high school. I was like, "Hmm, kids nah, don't bro, fight." You got a little like maybe they don't fight no more. Bro, you got a little ten, <laughs> 11, eleven, twelve, right thirteen year olds getting killed, like shooting each other. Yeah. I'm like, bro, or like, if you beat somebody up, they'll come back and try to find you. Yeah. 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 It's mm -hmm. different now, man. It's, it's crazy. A, it's a different Same, time, bro. bro. Ah, man. It's it's. I got so much to like. We we potting. I mean, it's we just, always we always gonna pot. We always gonna deliver people. Just some, know that. Don't this some, like BS yep. stuff. Well, men 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 are scared. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie to you, niggas is scared, bro. Like men they, men are men are scared and men are scared. Yeah. Like scared when sense. you tell me as a real oh, okay, let me not get into how it was last part. <clears throat> Join me. <sighs> <laughs> when a man tell me he got some homies, you a punk. Yeah. Cause if you if, if yo if what thing, makes you hard is because of your your group, you 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 a square, bro. Like you, yeah. you no, you're, you're a square. like you <laughs> you're a square. Like yeah, really yeah. because if what makes me hard is the people I'm around. Like yeah, come on, come on, fellas, let's. Like I never on, saw fellas. that shit as player, bro. That's always mm. been the softest. I never shit saw to that too. shit as player, Soft bro. Charming if, if that is the first line you have when we about to fight, that's soft. <laughs> it just is. Nope. Yeah, me and my niggas. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I see what you are. You need a, you mm -hmm. need an entourage to be able to, you know, square exactly. up and mm -hmm. handle like, your But business. we're here right now. You're not the type <laughs> of person that's going to go head up, straight up, in the situation where it is on the dime. It's niggas that always need a crowd. You yep. need your homies there just in case, just so that way you can put some instill fear in people. And that's all it is. Crowds instill fear. You feel like, okay, I got my group with me. I'm gonna scare this dude. Oh, that's see. just that's what happens yeah. in school. Yeah, like, I know more you. people. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. my group, and I can pick on you because you know what, my niggas got my back. Yep, yep. You ain't gonna do that shit. One, you're not just gonna do that randomly anywhere in any specific you know location to anybody mm -hmm. because you're by yourself. You're you're in your most raw mm -hmm. form, and who you are in your most raw form is who you are as an individual. 
Like Facts. people don't understand, bro. Like I, I, I be wanting boy. to give niggas the game. <laughs> he was crazy. Um, he ended up getting jumped. He's crazy. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he got jumped. He literally went one by one to each of these people in different days. <laughs> Beat up. That's some these strategizing. People. See, like that's, that's the real. He mother- found hey, them. That's some hard. And he shit. beat them up on yeah. different days. That, and that's they did not hard. mess with that man again. That's right? tough. I that's will hard. never that's forget some that real story. Shit right there. He hey, was man. like, "Yeah, I got a, uh, I got somewhere to be." And I was like, "Okay." And he just left. <laughs> and next thing you know, <laughs> it was another fight. <laughs> He beat that's, somebody up. Okay, Tuesday, Tuesday, three forty-five. This man had a whole like, schedule. Like, like, of beating yeah. up people. All right. yeah, yeah crossing Lewis. off the list. And he was—he didn't care how he did it because at that point, you know, it's war now. Yeah, because you, you jumped, jumped me. So like, he jumped see your rules no more. You oh. walking by yourself? Nah, that's a movie. Looking this way? That's a movie plot. That is. That like, is a movie. Hey, he was up. That's a short movie though. He come back. Vengeance. He come back from nowhere. You catch him at practice or something? Yeah. I'm like, what the hell happened, bro? I was like, I heard such and such got knocked, like, got knocked out today. He yeah, was he like, did. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Get in that. Get in yeah, that. I heard that too. Yeah, tragic. Yeah, that's bro. what you call somebody that's gonna be on a bro. That's you stand in your cold, ground. bro. That's some man shit. That's some man shit. <laughs> Even I remember everybody that was stomping him out. Like, I right, bet, bet, remember bet, because, bro. Bet, I just, bet. I just see people who do stuff like that as suckers, man. Monday. Mm-hmm. And people be so. This shit is in middle school too. That's the funny part. That's that's that's. <laughs> I, he he made a, he made a reputation. He had the right mentality. Ain't nobody bro. fucking him in high school then. Like <laughs> he had the right. It's mentality. crazy because I ended up moving away and everything. I, <laughs> moved away, but I was he like, damn, right I wonder what happened to him. Oh, that's oh, one uh, that's one man Marvin, man. Don't mess with him. Yeah, one man Marvin. That dude was a dangerous man. <laughs> that's, that's, dangerous. that's one punch man. I respect him to this day. I always think about that story. Cause one I was punch like, this Negro. dude pulled back up. <laughs> he pulled back up out of nowhere. He would just be like, Yeah, yeah, man, I got uh blah blah blah. I gotta go somewhere. I was like, Okay. And he just disappeared. You're like, what the fuck? Take Next care. Next thing you know, business. somebody got beat up again. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> See that nigga, bro. <laughs> he appeared. He behind, a, he behind a trash can. I seen only one. This is how I knew what was happening because I seen like the last one. And, and I was in the restroom taking a piss. And all you heard was scruffle. <laughs> exactly. You hit a beat. You hit a, you hit a, you hit a, you hit a you in the gym. You in the gym. What up, Steve? Bro, you hit the skids. On the, <laughs> some, nigga laid, <laughs> some nigga laid out in the stall. He yep. beat no. He beat this dude into the stall. Damn. You know, I'm peeing on the other side. So I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I'm trying to move out the way. And I'm like, wait, that's. What the fuck? He just, he's serving beats. You know what's, you know what's, Steve? It's, nothing, <laughs> it's nothing scarier than calm aggression. Yeah, bro. Like, exactly. When you calm. calm and you like, all right. Bro, that I is, got you. that is a cold story. Let bro. me find out he's that like one the of the number one mercenaries ever, right now. Nah, that's, that's that was the line of work. coldest shit I had ever heard that's in my life. That's cold, bro. That's when I realized what was happening because I didn't know what was going on. Right. It was one of those, he was beating up people in like the non-camera spots and shit. Oh, oh yeah. he, like, he, he, he do stairwells. He, he took one day at the school oh, with a lot of that didn't have cameras, yeah. catching them in the bathroom. No. Oh, my. He is vengeance. He is. He the black Batman right now. That dude was hard as hell to me. I was like, yeah, I'm... I'm never fucking with you ever in my that life. That is cold. You beat up everyone. Man, that man, he probably was just like, bro. And, and I knew it, what happened because they all used to say, what's up to him after that <laughs> shit? Like, they were like, what's up, man? And he'd be like, yeah. And he just keep walking. Now look, <laughs> at least I respect that. Okay. <laughs> at least they I mean, took their ass whooping. What can you say? Because they knew that nigga was crazy. You <laughs> called yeah. all your homies. Did he get you too? Yeah, he got me too, bro. <laughs> yeah. He got me too, got bro. me in the bathroom. Derek, God you too? Damn, I yeah. was just taking a piss. I was second period. I'll never forget that shit, though. Because I, I found out literally taking a piss. I was taking a piss, and the next thing you know, it's scuffling behind me. I'm like, what the fuck? I need to move. Yeah. I'm damn near about to pee off the, the seat. <laughs> I'm trying to turn around and watch. I'm trying to, see, I'm trying to watch out, because I don't know if they coming for me, right. too. Mm-hmm. I move out the way. It's, it's my homeboy. I'm like, what the fuck? That's <laughs> and this crazy. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> pop, pop, pop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was like, oh, y'all jumped him because y'all knew y'all couldn't hang with him. I understood. <laughs> yep. I that's understand. usually what happened. Oh, my homie he used to, my homie used to try to trick that, us. That's, that's a hell of a movie right my there. My homie used to try to trick bro, us in that, school. That is easily a movie right there. I was mm-hmm. like, damn. The homie used to try to trick us in school, make us think somebody was trying to jump shit. him. Wow. He used to do what? Them, them stories about Lanell. Them G check or whatever. Yeah. He yeah. used to try to trick us. Like, we'll just be minding our business, casual after school. And he'd be like, hey, bro, somebody's trying to jump me, bro. Like, he'll do that. He'll come, mm-hmm. like, serious up. to see. 
And we're like, yo, what's up, man? Who the, you yeah, know? Yeah. Who the, who he'd, the be like, he'd be like, man, calm down, calm down. I was just playing. I just wanted to make sure. I'm like, bro, don't be doing that, like, bro. Hell, you, know, you can't, can't be do, doing this. You can't shit. get me all the way up. Exactly, man. And it's Friday drop. shit, man. Because your already, testosterone. Yeah, start, at that point, yeah. your adrenaline started rushing. Because I'm like, niggas trying to what? I got to fight. So now I got to do I got to prep. Yeah, I got to prep. I'm starting to look. I don't know if it was me. Because I was like, niggas trying to what? When y'all saw a fight, did it make y'all want to fight? Like afterwards, I don't know. It was just nah. it depends. Sound I was like so you. hyped. It did you. somewhat. <laughs> like dog, no, like it said so what? It it depends. <laughs> like if it was somebody that I was, happy. hi, Mister Ray. I, right? <laughs> if it was somebody I was happy, they got their ass with. Well, I, yeah, I just that was usually that what it was. Like, okay, well yeah, that too. Like, but now usually like just yeah. seeing a fight, I'm like, damn. Karma came and got your bitch. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, it, yeah, we didn't have some. But time. it's them fights where I'm like, damn, he really bullying this guy. But mm-hmm. that guy probably did something at that point. And that's why I didn't, I didn't like bullies. I, like, I didn't like bullies either. That was my thing, bro. I was just, and I had ignorant moments, bro. Like I ain't gonna lie, yeah. I had. Mm-hmm. I mean, we all, we all had. Ignorant I had some moments. very ignorant moments, but I didn't have some. I'm just thankful that God still allowed me to be here. <laughs> Ross, right? yeah. how he said it. I definitely we did. all had them. I definitely did. So I remember being on what was that Homestead. Why was you on Homestead? <laughs> trail ride. Was it Homestead? Ooh, you say no more. Uh, Shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, why was, was it Homestead? Man, that would be the only reason to be a Homestead. Yeah. Was trail ride. Trail like, look, Zay tell this story like crazy. He's like, bro. Oh, had me, that story. Oh, had shit. me out there, bro. Boy, that, this man here. That's when I had my Impala. We're just, 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 we're no, just lucky and blessed that. Yeah, he was on some nigga <laughs> shit. That's definitely something. Dub, the, uh, Warren Dub Henry is a productive Dub citizen. Henry. Yeah, he's he a, is, produ- he's he's a very changed. kind man to Very society. educated black man. Yeah, because uh, around 2009, 2010 era, you know, it's just, you know, he was still cool, but, you know. I was a good you guy know? in 2009, 2010. Don't, don't, don't push your buttons, you know. I was a good guy too, bro. Exactly. I just didn't like people like, I was either having fun or I wasn't. I didn't have like yeah. a middle. That's some like, Jesus. Was, I that's didn't have a middle. <laughs> nah, for real. Like this literally. And then when I got drunk, it was worse. Oh, yeah. Cause yeah, it was just... really fun or it just was really like, okay, we about to fuck shit up. <laughs> but I mean, because you I always <laughs> wanted to wonder like bro cuz it's like damn why do people fuck with people that was my always my thing yeah, like man. damn why why you yeah, know I'm like a big fan of the bullies yeah, yeah and it nah. just kind of I turned that into cuz niggas is niggas try you bro like of niggas, course. and I it just couldn't I didn't get why niggas would always try to try people and that's until I got to where I am now it's like I understand mm-hmm. like the when you once you start getting things, man yep. Yeah, but Mental I mean, even things. even outside of that, like if I didn't have kids or married, I'd be. It's it's a peace thing, bro, that you got to get to, and you got to understand. Sometimes people are just they're they're uneasy in their own mind. Yep. And right. So I always used to tell my wife too. Even now, like man, when you driving, calm down. Don't yeah, like please. because oh, man, sometimes yeah. somebody is in shambles in their own mind, and then what they'll do because they know they don't care about their own life, they'll take you yeah. with them. Yeah. And so you thinking you getting at them and all that, and they nah. they come on. Like I'm trying to take somebody <laughs> with me because. I'm not okay here. He's like, I'm already happy here anyways. Yeah, yeah like they I'm, not, but I'm they, not. they are. And yeah. they want to take you with them. <laughs> exactly. So that's why I try Misery to Misery loves company, baby. Yeah. Exactly. I just saw a rotary incident. It was on uh, one of the Houston pages. I don't know if it was that, exactly from Houston, but Buddy was trying to, uh, he was trying to go to the right lane and stuff. And at the last minute, he tries and he cuts the drive off. He didn't use no blinkers. The driver was in the right lane, you know, honked the horn like, yo, what's up? Buddy got out the car with the bat. Trying to, you know, started like, man, lunging at the dude, was in the right lane, but it just goes, uh, gets outside his car with a Glock and just, like, kills him. Just like that. It's Damn. right on video. I'm like, bro, now yo, your ass is dead over some little stupid, stupid shit. shit just bro. Some, I'm like, you got out of the car with a bat. Yeah, with a bat. And Damn. Buddy was like, oh, well, I'll defend myself. Let me get my gun. And he yep. just starts shooting him. Like, what an idiot. So, exactly. Yep. Like so you yeah, road rate incidents, yeah. Definitely. You injured yourself <laughs> because you couldn't control your anger. Yeah. Yeah. Not knowing you what. You never and, know. And this yeah. is one of those things where, you know, you try to teach people, bro. You don't know what somebody have on them, bro. Mm-hmm. That's well, why it's always. Mentally, it's the mental, bro. Yeah. Like, and everybody, you, I just. I take I just, back my young boy statement. I don't, I don't rock with it. I don't condone it. But they need a better household. Yeah. 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 I mean, because just think about it, bro. Like, because that's so true. You can listen to Young Boy right now, but that ain't gonna make you want to. Yeah, you know how fine. to. You know yeah. how to tap into like. For sure. You know, even being young, it's just 
I see when people don't have that foundation in the house, I mm-hmm. see they don't know how to tap yeah. into like, hey, let me put a cap on this. Yeah. Like niggas be like, I don't know. It's like niggas want to go to jail. Like what, what's I there? Sh- like, bro, I swear. I, I, yeah. I don't, I don't, know I don't get some... that mentality, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm done, bro. I do not have no, I don't have no excuse. No, I'm like, look, y'all just lock them up. Like, you no, just I'm, just, go to jail. I'm really like, trying to figure out like, what's in jail. Like, it's like niggas is just doing anything. Yeah. You're about to go. show y'all I'm hard. I'm hard. I'm going to jail. Some some mm-hmm. niggas get comedy that shows. That meals. ain't no card you need, my yep. boy. It got to be something in jail that got niggas just wanting to go. I don't know, but y'all like, love it. Y'all look like y'all having a good ass time in there. I'm like, bro, they be on and they go on yeah. social media. Yeah, yeah they, they be on, on live media. and stuff. I'm like, bro, what's your what fuck? Live y'all? from cell fifteen. Exactly. You know what I'm a bunch of niggas in there. Yeah, hey, hey, exactly. Yo, I'm like, what y'all yo, celebrating for? Up gang signs. Hey. What's good? Listen to my niggas. Nah, nigga, freedom. That's what's good. Listen to my niggas. They, right. do, bro. They, <laughs> they always got somebody that can rap. It's mm-hmm. always a rapper. Mm-hmm. And somebody else. Mm-hmm. I can't even do it. Mm-hmm. DJ. Goddamn. I'm Post like, <laughs> bro, sh- sh- shut that shit off. I'm sorry. I'm like, bro, you got to hit your chest, bro. What you doing hitting your chest? Oh, that, yeah, the chest. Yeah. I've been mean, like, my people, bro. My people. Bro. I'm like, no. <laughs> so you got to hit it. <laughs> I'm like, bro. Yeah. You know, beat effects up in here, niggas. Concrete. You know, so, bro, y'all making. <laughs> but I'm thinking about this. I y'all that. making it look prison. Y'all happy to say, I'm like, all right, the judge they and the governor. Say. I'm like, all right, shit. Y'all, y'all just low keep key, there. Low key, they do be selling it. Yeah, y'all, y'all be right. selling the hell out of prison. <laughs> they be like, this shit fun as hell. That's how they all make right, it. Hey, 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 anybody else want to join them? I'm like, nah, bro. Hey, let, me go, let me go merch somebody. But I get it, because, like, you got to entertain yourself when you got to. but I'm like, I understand that. So I get that. But they advertising it, though. But it's low key, is advertising. <laughs> Commercial. But I think someone Welcome like, to prison, uh welcome to here's your resort. You can stay here for uh, like I can't and that's I ain't the gonna people lie. whose men- mentality ain't changed a lot of the time. It's they really go in not, there and they're yeah. just like, I'm just gonna be back in here anyway. Yeah. Or oh, this is better than being outside because have my outside world is worse. Have y'all ever thought about being in a room half this size with no window? I would my mind, go bro. fucking insane. Yeah. Like I yeah, no. I'm good, bro. I, I don't even not. like being in my own room for that long. <laughs> right. Oh, well, that's like, dick. Well, yes. <laughs> I get up like, and I got to God bless windows. Walk outside. Like, nigga, because it's yeah. natural. You got to need some vitamin D. <laughs> it's Bro, it's yeah. like yeah. natural resources for being able well, to go outside. you don't have the choice to do that, that shit yeah. frustrates. Somebody Very put a time on everything, bro. Hell, yeah. when I had, like, COVID, when anybody else that had COVID, when you stay, had to stay in that room, that shit was you torture You go stir to me. crazy. Yeah. yeah. That's like, what a lot bro. of people were saying. Because I couldn't sleep when I had COVID. I'm like, yeah, bro. That's awful. Oh, I couldn't. I, oh, you I saying felt like I was four walls. Yeah. I had to sit on my couch. So I was just like, take deep breaths. I felt like I was going crazy. Let you I was know already you can't losing do prison sleep. right there. Yeah. And like, I'm like, I, nope. I can't, I can't. So imagine no TV. Yeah. No, no net. No, no. Exactly. And you just there and all the time. Yeah. And it's only so much time you can sleep. <laughs> right. Because niggas want to sleep it away. And it's like, bro, hell no, bro. I could not. Hey, at the end of the day, bro, niggas need to wake up, man, and stop. Let's wake up. Stop it's just music, statistics. man. Do not emulate. Because it ain't cool. You, it's not cool at all. And parents yeah, wake cool. up because parents are allowing their kids to do what the hell ever. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Oh, like, yeah. that's that's my my first gripe is always going to be the goddamn parents because I know what it is. It is, is like, always the parents Because that's where fear comes from. That's mm-hmm. where you be like, all right. Like, we did a lot of shit, and I ain't going like, to hold you. Like but, we said earlier, like, if, if they don't have the foundation, which is the parents, um, if they don't have that foundation, it's easy to break it, and that's how the young boys and the internet and stuff can influence you to do some dumb shit. So, yeah. like, I yeah. I get it. And a lot of and, to, and and you know, to be fair, you know, because we're not just shunning people, bro. I swear, it's people that grow up in tough situations. Right? Oh, yeah. There's some people oh, that for sure. I I have personal family. I don't want to you know speak what it is, but I have personal family that I know for a fact got it tough. You know, don't have parents to go to. You only got you the streets yeah. and what you know yep. on mm-hmm. how to survive. And what saying, you do, I know people who have have parents, but the parents are in the streets, so they teaching you to go into the streets. And your first, and then all you know exactly. is the streets. So mm-hmm. I get that, like, because who you look up to is in the streets. Of course, you're gonna do nothing but follow suit. Yeah, like, and that's just, we, we just gotta, gotta break the cycle, bro. Figure it yeah. out and break it. We just mm-hmm. have to break it. And I feel confident with this generation more and more um, at times, but because. I do like they the show business. Flashes. I like yeah. the big. They, mm-hmm. they show flashes, bro. They show flashes of what we wanted to be. Like yeah. they got the business mindsets. They not taking minimum wage. I love they're the fighting for what they mm-hmm. want. I love it. Like they're fighting for ownership, and I'm just hoping that really taps into people to figure out what they want to do with careers, owning ownership. You know, getting stuff back in our neighborhood instead of just claiming the hood. Own the hood. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, that's I'm, how you do. I'm, I'm over the whole where I'm from. I'm from Houston, nigga. Fuck mm-hmm. all that other shit. I don't, I got a house here. I got you know like let's start owning some shit. Owning okay, some. So I got a property in in not Houston. Yeah, how about that? I got properties <laughs> in other places. Yeah. that are called not Houston. Exactly. We just like, got to be able to get up on that, bro. Because yeah. other cultures are doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like being yeah, like everybody yeah. else. But if we know we're already set behind, why are we setting ourselves back even further? Just think, there's mm-hmm. people that come from out of this country. Come to America and they just like shitting on like people born and raised. I mean, but in the two, city, like, two, that's also due to the government because the government right? gives well, yeah, things that's a whole to people. Nother, but yeah. always say this: you know how they show that little uh, emoji picture or that picture on Facebook where they show all the, like the white dude and then the black dude racing. But it's like, oh yeah, the yeah. black dude starts behind. It's a crocodile. It's yeah, piss, yeah, all that stuff in the yeah, way yeah. barbed wire, and then the white dude just free to run. I can't look at a picture more real but know that that's and then shit, still yeah. do bullshit to keep myself in that same exactly. fucking position you just add an that's a good way to summarize it too bro because you're like, adding obstacles you're just yeah. adding freaking obstacles mm-hmm. you know you behind you know it all right we can stop saying cops is racist we can stop saying it like nigga, yeah. not yeah. all cops but we yeah. clearly see well yeah. we know what they were derived from <laughs> where cops came from police and came from was yep. from Slaves, once they was free, hey, we need a way to be able to round up some hey, niggas if man. we want to. Go, go bro. Uh, man, you got to make sure the type of judges, too, in your local area, too. Like, bro. It has a lot to do with it also. I remember, like, two years ago when they are saying, like, we're complaining about a lot of people complaining about Donald Trump. Granted, we know how Trump was, and I'm like, bro, believe it or not, you got your local officials that's doing more damage to your community. Of course. Because mm-hmm. they so impact that's you the first. Most, like, the same judges that's been in, in power for, like, 30-plus years. <laughs> That's giving these harsh sentences to like these little bullshit crimes. So they know what they're doing. But so. they letting the niggas who kill get off on exactly. bond for yep. thirty dollars. You got mm-hmm. it. So there is some power. There is power in voting, bro. Believe it or not. Hey, any so. anything that we could do, bro, in in mm-hmm. our time on this earth, man, to to try to you know keep one step going forward, man. Try yep. to in, instruct change, instill it into people, even though you don't know us, bro, personally. And yeah. For the people that be DMing us, because I know y'all get the crazy DMs, bro. We love mm-hmm. y'all, man. And we Facts. we want y'all to know, bro, we not perfect. So we ain't on here Definitely trying to bash. And we just At trying to let y'all know we from experience. That's what makes us entertainable. We ain't perfect. Exactly. We, we, we got dose perfect. everything. But I can't yeah. sit on here and tell you everything I did wrong. You know, right. it's like yeah. I can do that, but I can also give you the game on like, uh, I probably should have did this, man. I probably yeah. should have moved like this because mm-hmm. learning from experience isn't all. If you can learn from somebody else's experience of how to avoid a trap, you know that's yeah. like always going to be the best thing. Don't always try to run into a brick wall and know, oh that shit hard. Like nah, man, learn how to go around it and maneuver. Is nothing wrong with that because that's how you get ahead even further than what we got. Mm-hmm. Oh man, I ain't have to worry about getting having a five hundred credit score. I'm already at a seven. Let's now evolve. you already now you already started. Yeah. We always starting mm-hmm. further and further. What we're doing to that picture, that same picture. We're slowly removing them obstacles. Mm -hmm. And we putting our people right where they need to be at the starting line, where everybody else is. Facts. It's simple, bro. Make the way, man. Pave the way. Facts, man. Yeah, this was deep. No, this was a good episode. Good episode. Had his had his ranges, but it was deep. More of the story, uh, Will deserves better. Will definitely deserves better, that. man. Definitely. Parents ra- well, watch our kids, raise them right. Mm-hmm. And we talk about nothing sixty nine ish. We did not. Yeah. Before we go, Takashi got a new God, song. I knew you about to say, bro. I knew you were going to say that shit. Kes showed me that out of nowhere. I was like, has he, uh, he been doing drugs or something? Uh, he coming <laughs> back. You see man. how small he looks? I didn't see it. Well, yeah, he coming back. I had not I had heard the song. I just seen a clip of him rapping, and it was like the black dudes behind him looked uncomfortable as hell. They was like, <laughs> like bro, who was paying y'all that? exactly? Oh, oh y'all ain't telling me I was going to be on camera. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Half of them had masks on. Y'all labeled this man a as a rat. Too, my stupid ass was yeah, like, in, informant. <laughs> and yeah, y'all st- and like you just said up like, bro, some of y'all motherfuckers y'all want to go to jail and stuff. I'm like, bro, here you are. Y'all still associating with this guy over here. <laughs> Known he officer. was an informant. He had to do what he had to do. But yeah, y'all still want to be associated with him because he regardless, Takashi still, whatever he does, gonna go somewhere viral. Still. It's so. a te- I, I just think that's just yeah, bad energy. A drug. Man, around, definitely bad man. energy. He's a person to be around. For real. Nope, no, it's not. Nah, he, he got a lot going on and a lot of negative energy around him. Exactly. And, you know, even if I'm not from a certain hood, I'm not going to go to somebody hood acting like I'm disrespecting it, no matter what time yeah, I'm going there. Clout, the day. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's that clout drug is very dangerous. Speaking of clout, there's another guy. I know we're about to cut it short, but the recent, there's another guy that he's calling himself a rapper, but I don't know this day and age. Everybody wants to be a rapper or a clout dude. He recorded himself actually going to Nipsey Hussle's um, uh, graveyard 
and he spits like where Nipsey Hussle was wrestling. Didn't somebody get killed for that? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So Le- yeah, this year, year whole other, this other guy, he actually has a video of him spitting on it because they don't have a tombstone for Nipsey Hussle. This is literally right the same now. thing we just yeah. got through saying. People want to go to jail. He wants to die. The fact that he know exactly. <laughs> so the fact that like, he knows when Nipsey Hussle is wrestling, and that's what bro, it it irritates the hell of me he most. Nipsey gone. was a rapper that was doing the most for his community, bro. Doing number positivity. Why the fuck is he constantly still getting? Getting getting destroyed People, like this, bro. His mural and like clout. disrespecting clout. Exactly. I'm like, clout. cause he ain't gonna do that without the camera. Oh no, hell yeah, no. Yeah, exactly. Clout. clout. Like, yeah, that man you, got a death wish, bro. I'm telling We're you talking. what it is, bro. It's clout. Yeah. And that's what happened with the the young man. I think it was last year. Bro. Yeah. They found out who he was. He was he on was live, live, and yeah. they shot him up, and he died. Yep. See, oh, that scene that was disturbing too. Yeah, bro. Like, and that's why I don't be watching trying to watch none of that shit no, no more. I don't, I don't be watching like, none since, of that. since I used to last be on year. World Star all the time. Yeah. yeah, I've literally like banned that. I banned like any and violent video. And you feel video. better? Oh, I feel oh, I, 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 I so can't imagine the last time all the people that just Star. gravitate to that. I feel, I feel cleansed. I don't even post fight videos. Like I don't like it. Like yeah. I, I personally just don't like it. No yeah. yeah, it's bad energy, bro. Don't like, get me wrong. I listen to some trap music. I listen to some you know gangster shit. But it's like I can't. You know how to differentiate. Feed myself into that toxicity, yeah. bro. It's even like, even tra- hell, I was listening to some song the other day, bro, and I was like, God damn! I just bro. had to turn it off because I was just like, <laughs> I swear I did the same ah, shit. Like shit I had a uh, damn F, F this B kill a mother mother. What was the song? <laughs> I, was like, uh, I don't even know the person. I don't even just remember. Feel it just popped on on somebody's radio, and I was like, Yeah, I can't. It I can't just don't do vibe. And I went and changed to like some Lecrae. Like, like I was just like I need something else, bro. I need I this is just too much. Like a this few is months back, in my brain. I watched right. I watched uh, Raising Canaan and BMF back to back, and I'm like, oh, this is just too damn toxic. Thank God, King Richard the movie came out. I'm like, all right, it just soothed. It made it perfect. Bro, you know, watching too much of that shit is just terrible it's nowadays. It's crazy because I love like I love violent shows. I yeah. love that shit. Like I, I enjoy watching that. But stuff. BMF and Raising Canaan have the same I can, thing. I pretty can much. Usually decipher it from you know the real yeah. or whatever. But it comes a point where I have to watch something else because yeah. I just like like you said, I personally can't watch BMF and Raising King immediately behind each other because I don't like seeing us constantly selling drugs. It's That's, entertaining. It's really the same shit, yeah. But like, like seeing it constantly, I had to take a break, wait, watch something else in between, and then yeah. I was like, All right, now I'm ready for BMF. See then this <laughs> is this is why it helps when, when <laughs> me and my wife, uh when me and Nisha be watching on Thursdays, Snowfall and uh Bel Air, we'll watch mm-hmm. Snowfall first. And then we'll end it on Bel Air because it's, it's more like, yep. you even, got though, to, even though calls be, but you know, still, <laughs> um, it's still something lighter. I can't believe they added that note. shit on the series, bro. Like, yeah, it's still something on the lighter note, bro. Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna tell you at the end of the day, um, you you feel cleansed, like, bro. Working out myself personally, what I've been doing, and just praying more, and just getting right spiritually, that and too, eating Absolutely. better. I feel like my body and my mind is just becoming more in tune and. You you feel yourself cleansing. Man, that's you amazing. Can, mm-hmm. You can feel it, and that's how I know about the spirituality and how true it is. Because I'm big on what I feel. Like I know Same. we've been told yeah. things for years and years and years, and I was one of them people. Because uh, I definitely want to do a part about this about the whole Bible thing. Like I wanted to make that a separate thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm gonna drop it. I actually some that's gems, funny you but, said because yeah. I um I recently like because me and my wife we had a conversation about um. I guess like getting major more into like you know church how mm-hmm. I grew up like because I grew mm-hmm. up I grew up in a church and so it's like it's like lately I haven't been going you know as mm-hmm. much but I but I still pray and stuff yeah of course and so it was like we just really started like praying with him every night type mm-hmm. thing mm-hmm. to where he's like like getting that hey I have to like this is what I send my to prayers do. before I go to sleep yeah, yeah. And just to make it a habit and it just it it feels good like it's like. I'm I'm trying to instill those that that foundation, and that's the thing right. that's that's big on me because I know people feel like, oh man, we was just told something, and da, 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 da. Yeah. and I'm like, I was that person for a while, man. Exactly. I, ain't gonna lie. I was just like, it's a lot of questions. It's a lot of questions I still have, but I pray about that. Like, instead of instead of me bashing, I'll be like, God, please give me the understanding because I don't understand this, and I would like to. Yeah. And what I'm starting to notice is how I feel. Yeah, uh-huh. you can't shake a feeling. That's just you like can, yeah. If you're in a room by yourself and I walk in behind you, don't say nothing. You can feel my presence, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's right. that's that's what I'm talking. It's like feeling is something you can't shake. So if you know you feel in a way, if you notice you feel a certain way when you're watching a lot of horror shit, not just horror, but just a lot of graphical, just 
like demonic type stuff mm -hmm. versus something on the more peaceful side. If one makes you feel lighter than the other, mm -hmm. if you got to sleep with the light on because you watched one, and if you got to, <laughs> you, you know, if you got to peek around the corner, you know yeah. something is not right. And that's, that's something that I'm learning myself. So before I, you know, preach to anybody or give anybody any advice, 100%. I'm finding it myself. 100%. I, um, I'm definitely growing in learning myself in general. Exactly. I actually made a post about that on Facebook not too long ago, like yesterday, about my, um, my laugh. So like I have yeah I've seen it it's um I I can't remember the name of it is because that's why I laugh so much it's like mm -hmm. a it's a, a emotion concealer and so I realized that was something that I I I wouldn't say struggle with it's just something I've had because I I, I was going through things and I would laugh like to cover sadness or mm -hmm. ups, mm -hmm. like being upset or something like that that's why I giggle or chuckle whenever I say certain things or like. Cause I remember I, I didn't even notice it for years. Like I like it was such a natural defense mechanism yeah. from those like vulnerable or weak. Well, what I would call weak states, mm -hmm. like that I didn't even realize I had it. And so, I um, when I met Kess, I remember her dad. He was uh, he he said something to her. He said something about um, uh, I don't, I don't know if it was just him or somebody else. It was multiple people that that brought it up during that time frame. They were like. Why does he laugh so much during the blah blah blah? <laughs> and I was like, I don't laugh like that. Right. And then you know we start talking. I'm like, I start chuckling like, and I was like, damn, I do do that. But it, I, and I didn't realize like it was just something I I did for so long that it became habitual. Mm -hmm. And it was like it was a defense mechanism that I used to cover up so many emotions because I was going through so much shit at one point. Right. The time when I even when I met when I met her, I was I was broken as hell. But it, I like I had to you know I I masked a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. I've always done that, but like I've worked on like letting those emotions out, like the happiness. I mean, like the sadness, the mm -hmm. anger, a little bit like differently to where it's like now it's easier to express that stuff without you know forcing this defense mechanism. Of, I don't know. I just I don't know. That's weird. I never said that shit. That's out loud. In, that's important. <laughs> now, but you know what? That's very. What you said, bro, was very powerful, important, and I want to end on that note because. Mm -hmm. Mental health and expression is powerful. Yeah. And we've been taught so long to cover it up. Mm -hmm. And that's the one thing I fear about with social media because even with the Will situation, bringing it back to that, having a vulnerability and showing yourself emotionally vulnerable as a man, mm -hmm. it's like they make fun of it. Yeah. And it's, it's right. like we're already so used to like, that's not how a man move. A man don't cry. A man don't. But yeah. it's like, and if I've found myself more and more saying, like, y'all have even heard me say, like, man, the more I'm getting, the, the older I'm getting, the more emotional I'm getting. Uh -huh. But I don't even feel like it's the older I'm getting. I feel like I'm actually just accepting the emotion. Mm -hmm. I don't right. think it's That's ever exactly how been any, went anywhere. I think I think it's always been there. I just think I'm I'm being more accepting of it. That, mm -hmm. that, that's what I feel like it is for me as well, because now I'm, um, I guess it's not just because I'm getting old. It's because I'm accepting that I don't care what other people think. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, like. Right. Now it's like it's getting to that point where I'm like, damn, I'm like this this hurts. Like this hurts and I'm letting it out. Like when uh literally my my favorite dancer, like my favorite, like mm -hmm. not even just favorite dancer, he's one of my <clears throat> favorite videographers. He's like half of the influence I have for making my dance videos, like as far as like editing wise, mm -hmm. is from him. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of my influence is from him. J. Cole, uh rest in peace to him. Yeah, rest mm -hmm. in peace, man. Recently mm -hmm. died. And then like that crushed me. Like it that hurt. Like that hurt, but and I didn't really like I didn't understand. I was like, I don't like know him like that. Like we talk, mm -hmm. I've met him, I've uh, had conversation with him about possibly linking up and whatever. But it was like I didn't realize how connected I was to him until like that happened. I was like, damn, damn bro, like this, mm -hmm. that's for real. Like that's, like that's somebody I really, really find a lot of influence from, and I didn't understand it until that happened. And I was like, wow. Like, and the is, fact that you can, you can, yeah, like let that emotion like go and just feel it i was watching a video and i just like i start tearing up i was like whoa yeah. like i just start crying because it was like damn like i won't be able to get a new video of this like i won't be able to see this again mm -hmm. like this this is the last one or these are the last like i have to just keep re-watching these because he can't make another one and that's mm -hmm. and what i always say with that bro the pain never leaves you just outgrow it mm -hmm. you, you grow yes. beyond the pain yeah. and, 100%. On that. and that's something bro i want us to get on this next pod because i feel like mental health in our community Men in general, but definitely the black community because I feel like we're just so used to taking stuff. Mm -hmm. like, oh man, it's just taking. Let's just, you know, let's 
and we, and we pack it on. We pack it on because we just feel like that's what we've always done. You mm-hmm. know, we had to. We've always had to deal. It's what we know, and that's yep. all we know. We don't know how to, you know, fight for different causes because I ain't gonna worry about that. The government don't care about me because we just yeah. always dealt with. You know, and right. that's something that I want to dive into, man. I hope y'all really enjoyed this podcast because mm, this is okay. something that we want to, um, even though we ended on it, it's something very powerful. And I hope y'all do catch the next one because um, I do want to get into that, bro. We we can have emotions, bro, and we can fight influence and, and we can fight um, people who are trying to just be social media famous, you know, to to, to really, they, they really tearing down a lot of the people because the influence is very bad and because if you don't have a foundation like we said earlier you're easy to be cracked so just like will and what he's going through bro don't think that emotion is something that's bad to be shown and was bad to go through you know Mm -hmm. like no matter what you're going through with your wife or your spouse your kids it's it's okay to show your emotion bro we don't have to pack that on bro and i I can't wait till we dive into that bro because it's a lot that needs to be said for yes. sure. So, yes, um, sir. Episode yep. sixty nine, man, definitely a dope one. Good one, um, good one. For definitely sure. enjoyed it, man. It had his roller coasters. Ross let out a lot of steam earlier, man. <laughs> yeah, man. He, <laughs> he, he he had a lot Ross, to say. Ross had that chambered up. In- he <laughs> had that. He was ready to let he it. He had go. that in a chokehold. <laughs> no, <man. laughs> no, Jada, you right. off mother. <laughs> but yeah, <nah>. boneheaded, <laughs> <laughs> bro. I. But he needed to, hey, he needed to let it out. Let it out, hey, man. He, he say what you got to say, bro. my boy. And right. guess what? You felt a little bit better mm. once you was able to, ah. Okay. <laughs> Let's go get some need now. Yeah, I had yeah. to let my old head talk out, too, even though I was bullshitting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm enjoying it, bro. I embrace the old head. You know, I'm thankful for it. And I'll leave y'all with something that my mom always told me. Or she just told me this yesterday. I was going to tell y'all this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> always told you. My mom just told me yesterday. I have to correct it. <laughs> Be careful what you laugh at. Mm. Mm. She's very she, true. She hit me with that gem. I didn't. I didn't catch on to it until a little bit after. I was like, "That makes uh-huh. sense." I definitely laughed at the Will situation, like the memes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, but I, I made some funny, of them. Man. Like it's I couldn't. Yeah. But she, to she told me, but she said, "That's true." Be careful what you laugh at. Yeah. That's what she said, and mm-hmm. she kept it simple and hit a minute explanation on it. But she said, "Just and that was deep." People should yep. be careful what they laugh at. Careful what you, you never know how that might flip on you uh-huh. and how you will feel in that same predicament. That's uh-huh. true. So, this is true. Dope. That's the end. Catch y'all in the next. Peace. Peace. Sir.